A new procedure for repairing damage to the knee, biological cartilage transplant. This technique uses the patient's own regrown cartilage to repair the joint. As we hear from Dr. Sean Solpur of St. Jude Medical Center in Fullerton. So what is cartilage transplantation? It's a relatively new procedure that has been done in Europe for the last 10 years or so but has been recently approved by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, specifically for the knee. There's a lot of misconception as to exactly what is cartilage transplantation, but the exact procedure involves taking a small piece of cartilage from the person's knee through minimal incisions, through the arthroscope, two small incisions, we call them poke holes, and we take out the cartilage, send it to the Genzyme Laboratory in Boston, Massachusetts, where it's grown into a liquid form, and then later on, sometimes six weeks to eight weeks later, then it's re-implanted into the patient's knee into the shape and to the size of the defect that it needs to fill. The traditional joint replacements is one of the best surgeries we can offer patients, and that's generally where we'll take out the entire knee joint and replace it with plastic and metal. Biological reconstruction is to work with what we have in the first place and try not to replace it with plastic and metal. So if it means realigning the limb, we will realign the bones so that it would unload the part of the cartilage that is damaged. Or in case that it is damaged and it is replaceable, then we will go ahead and replace the cartilage. So in this case, there is no um, extra metal or plastic in the knee or the joints that we're talking about so that patients can get back to generally a higher level of activity. It's a relatively new procedure, so there are only a handful of people in the country who are qualified to do this. Traditionally, some sports medicine trained specialists were doing this, and uh, others from a knee replacement or joint replacement pathway have done this. And there is some misconception out there as to who qualifies for this procedure. Very few people actually do qualify for the narrow definition of, of cartilage transplantation the way that FDA has approved it. Those people are generally uh, younger, less than 50 years of age, uh, who have minimal or moderate amount of arthritis, which is essentially is either softening or lessening of the cartilage, who have a very definable amount of cartilage loss that could be uh, transplanted. So the patient who is generally 70 or 80 years old with global loss of cartilage is not a candidate for cartilage replacements. You have many other procedures that can help that patient. One of my favorite reasons uh, for getting into this uh, specific treatment option is through a patient that I met during my residency, during my training, and that was a young lady in her 30s who was a marathon runner and would average between 50 to 70 miles a week, who had developed a focal loss of cartilage in her knee to the point where her knee would swell up, blow up, and be very painful, and she couldn't even walk more than a few blocks. Uh, we were able to successfully diagnose, treat her with uh, cartilage transplantation, and after a successful rehab, she's now back running between 30 to 40 miles a week without any pain. So that's one of the main reasons why I got